Meanwhile, five minutes away at his veterinary surgery, SSPCA vet Remain Pizzi is preparing to operate on Molko, a Rottweiler. She was adopted from the SSPCA five months earlier and since then has suffered many phantom pregnancies. In order to prevent this from happening, Romain needs to remove Molko's ovaries, a procedure called spaying, which he's attempting to do via intricate keyhole surgery. So if you just watch um, um, heart rate and tell me if it goes down dramatically or up dramatically. After making a small incision, he prepares to insert a camera. Because you're not making big cuts in the muscle layer underneath the skin, that heals very quickly and it's also less painful. Using the camera, Romain finds the ovaries. And then that structure over here is the ovary. So that's what we want to take out. And it's not very big. A clamp is used to hold the ovaries in position. Then they're snipped and removed. Even though the incisions on Molko are small, they still need stitching. Right, so that's her all stitched up, Louise. If you can just give her a little bit of a clean and we'll wake her up. Operation over, the anaesthetic is reversed and it's not long before Molko starts to come round. I was very happy with the operation today. She was quite relaxed when she woke up, so that was all successful and hopefully that will definitely solve the problem of these false pregnancies. Molko's placed in a holding pen to recover. Just a short time later, her owners arrive to collect their drowsy companion. Molko, hello baby, hello, hello, how are you? Will she be sleepy? She will be sleepy, it usually takes about two, maximum three days. The only thing to sometimes watch out for is, because she's a Rottweiler and their fur is a little bit bristly, occasionally you find that there's a bit of skin irritation after we've clipped them. The operation's been a complete success and Molko leaves for home, none the worse for her ordeal.